Look at how these weeds, I pull them out and there's just nothing attached to them. They come right out, almost like they were grown in a hydroponic medium. And I credit that to the mulch on the soil because now I can just hold moisture in here. And so look at this, you just go, and these types of weeds are typically hard to pull out in dry compacted soil. But this mulch is absolutely incredible. Hey folks, Curtis Stone, the not so urban farmer here. And it's a Monday, I'm doing a bunch of chores on the farm. And I thought I would just talk about the experience I've had with this mulch so far. You know, one thing about mulch that people think, and I think it's not correct, is that mulch will, if you put mulch on the beds, it will stop weed pressure. I think maybe there's a certain amount of truth to that and a, cer and a certain amount of uh, untruth to that. And um, I would say in my own experience, it's not that it stops weeds. The weeds kind of stay there. Um, I think you could make the case that going forward you'll have less weed pressure because seeds will land on the mulch and they won't get deep into it as, as long as you're not disturbing your soil a lot. So you could potentially in the future have less weeds. But when you start with it, you got all the weeds that are already in that soil and the mulch is actually gonna help those weeds germinate. So in a way, from what I've seen, I get a bit more weed pressure up front, but the thing that's amazing is because I'm able to hold the moisture in the soil, pulling out weeds is, they just come right out. Look at that, absolutely incredible. So I would say that is the number one thing about it that's amazing. And um, here's the other thing about mulch that can be difficult is even in a homesteading application, like I'm a homesteader now, I'm no longer commercially farming. I haven't commercially farmed since 2018, but I've been farming the whole time, at least for myself or a, a co-op or something like that. <laughs> and uh, I still grow a lot of food. I do full beds of direct seeded crops and that's that's where mulch becomes a problem is when you're sowing a crop directly in the soil having said that i'm not ruling it out because i i could see how if you maintain the same amount of mulch the same type of mulch on your bed and don't add new stuff to it for a while let it kind of break down i could see that it could potentially get fine enough like this is what's on my top right now it is a bit more decomposed i actually bought a bunch of uh, bark mulch that was like a secondary bark mulch. It was like all more broken down, which in, for me is better. Uh, and then I screened it from there. So I've been able to get a fairly nice material that is somewhat broken down. Now I could see if I just left this as it was for another season, I could direct seed into it. I just couldn't see stuff germinating in this. It's not, it doesn't hold enough moisture on its own. It's, it's what the mulch does on top of the soil than really what the mulch does itself to itself. And so I could see that, however, um, this is where mulch, you know, this is where mulch can basically uh, create a problem for you is because it's just, you have to deal with it. And so in a homestead context, I could see, if I couldn't seed into this right now, I could see just raking it off, seeding the crop, and then putting it back. I, I could see doing that, and, and I might try that actually. But uh, so far, I like what I see. It obviously doesn't work for everything right out of the gate. Um, it, it, it seems to me that you have to put the time in to make the mulch better. And this mulch that I've already screened, I've done one step to make it better. And the next step will be to keep it here. Like I said, I could scrape this away and then seed something and put it back, but I'm gonna use this same mulch on this same bed and these series of beds for as long as I can and see what will happen and, and if I can get to a point where you can just seed right into it and it just becomes its own sort of loam. Anyways, if you guys liked that video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and check out fromthefield.tv. That's where I post all of my content, all my daily vlogs on the homestead and the building of my homestead in here and all that. That's where it is. All right, folks, see you in the next video.